Thomas and the Passenger Train by Reverend W. Audrey. Read by Books for Kids by Flying Dragons. Thomas often grumbled because he was not allowed to pull passenger trains. The other engines laughed. You're too impatient, they said. You'd be sure to leave something behind. Rubbish, said Thomas grossly. You just wait. I'll show you. One night, Thomas and Henry were alone. Henry was ill. The men worked hard, but he didn't get any better. Henry usually pulled the first train in the morning, and Thomas would always get his coaches ready. He would fetch them from the yard and bring them to the flat platform. If Henry is ill, said Thomas to himself, perhaps I shall pull his train. In the morning, Thomas ran to find the coaches. Come along, come along, he fussed. There's plenty of time, there's plenty of time, grumbled the croaked coaches. Thomas took them to the platform and wanted to run around in front at once, but the driver wouldn't let him. Don't be impatient, Thomas, he said. So Thomas waited and waited. The passengers got in, the guard and the station master walked up and down, the porters banged the doors, and still Henry didn't come. Thomas got more and more excited with every minute that went by. What's the matter? asked the fat controller. The station master told him about Henry. Find another engine, the fat controller ordered, hurrying out to the platform. There is only Thomas, said the station master. Thomas, you'll have to do it, said the fat controller. Be quick now. So Thomas ran around to the front and backed down on the coaches, ready to start. Don't be impatient, Thomas, said the driver. Wait until everything is ready. But Thomas was too excited to listen to a word he said. Nobody knows what happened next. Perhaps they forgot to couple Thomas to the train. Perhaps Thomas was too impatient to wait until they were ready. Or perhaps his driver pulled the lever by mistake. But somehow Thomas started. People waved and shouted at him, but he didn't stop. They're waving because I'm such a splendid engine, Thomas thought importantly. Henry says it's hard to pull trains, but I think it's easy. Hurry, 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 puffed Thomas, pretending to be like Gordon, as he passed the first signal box. Thomas saw the signalman waving and shouting at him. They're pleased to see me, he thought. They've never seen me pulling a train before. And he whistled back to them. Beep, beep. But soon Thomas came to a danger signal. Bother, he thought. I must stop, and I was going so nicely too. What a nuisance signals are and he blew an angry peep peep on his whistle. One of the signalmen came running up. Thomas, he said, what are you doing here? I'm pulling a train, said Thomas proudly. Can't you see? Where are your coaches then? asked the signalman. Thomas looked back. Why, bless me, he said, if we haven't left them behind. Yes, said the signalman. You're better, you better go back and fetch them. Poor Thomas was so sad, he nearly cried. At the station, all the passengers were talking at once. They were telling the fat controller, the station master and the guard what a bad railway it was. Suddenly, they saw Thomas coming back into the station, looking very sad. When everyone saw how sad and sorry he was, they couldn't be cross anymore. So they coupled Thomas to the train, and this time he really pulled it. Thomas worked very hard all day long, and he wasn't impatient at all. You've been a very useful engine, said the driver. Well done. For a long time afterwards, the other engines laughed at Thomas. Look, they said, there's Thomas, who wanted to pull a train, but forgot about the coaches. Peep, peep. I hope you enjoyed my story. The end.